Bell checking in live from Niagara Falls. Brittany, what are we anticipating? I mean, we finally made it to Eclipse Day. <laughs> Finally, it seems like it's been forever, but this morning not looking too bad for now, but we saw some clouds around, but even before sunrise, we already have people checking out uh, the falls this morning. We are on Goat Island near Terrapin Point, and yesterday's weather was perfect. We had mostly sunny skies. That's not going to be the case today, so let's get right to the forecast. Looking at the maps, even on satellite and radar, notice there's a thin layer of cloud cover already pushing across western New York, even a batch of rain off to the west. That rainfall will not be an issue for us, but the cloud cover will. But things are looking a little better, a little more optimistic this morning. So notice the hour by hour cloud forecast. This is for Niagara Falls. Totality starts here close to 318. That's going to last about three minutes and 30 seconds. And around three o'clock, uh, the cloud cover percentage will start to go down a bit. So hopefully that means we'll start to see more breaks in the clouds. So the last total solar eclipse here was in 1925. So you can imagine that anticipation is high. That's why people are just flocking here. And overall, people are just optimistic that we'll get the right amount of clearing at the right time. I'm begging to Mother Nature, if you, if you make clouds, I'm going to cry. So I'd hope that there's no clouds, but if there are, it sure wouldn't be as cool. But it's not like it would completely ruin the experience. We've never been here before, so, you know, it's, um, so if we don't see the eclipse as much as planned, so be it. We're still in a great spot. We are literally over the moon to welcome over 1 million people to our state for this once in a generation moment. Build in lots of travel time. We are warning everyone the roads can only handle so much, and we're expecting a ex high, high volume of traffic before and after the event as people go to the destinations they want to visit. Like I said, our state parks, the waterfronts, the mountains. Uh, all the way over to Niagara Falls, where I hope to be if we can make some progress here. And to say that this place is going to be packed is an understatement. I talked to some people yesterday that booked hotels almost a year in advance. So the mayor is anticipating almost 1 million people to visit the Niagara Falls area today. That could be the highest amount of visitors in one day in Niagara Falls history. And that's why a state of emergency has been declared for the city just to prepare for the influx of extra people. But right now we're just crossing our fingers, hoping that we will get some clearing so we can see that total so. Solar eclipse.